Don't forget, the next video after this part has already been made and is live now on my Patreon for you to see straight after you've watched this. Fully voice acted, soundtracks, and with my signature editing, up for early access to the incredible 4,400 plus patrons who support my work from just $3 with more and more access at higher tiers. This has long been requested to have the full next video early available to you guys who just can't wait for what happens next on Ultra Vegito. And now it's finally here. Links are in the pinned comment and description. Head there after the video. So our story continues with Goku having entered a mysterious new state after last chapter. Aiming to try and access the power of the gods and angels Vegito had absorbed. As his base hair now rises up and a strange aura begins to surround him. Silently, he would think to himself, I know their power is in here somewhere. If I can just bring it out, I know. I know I'll be able to give Vegito a run for his money! And with his premonition forwarded, Goku would then calmly and slowly rise up into the sky. <gasps> Kakarot! Leaving the now downed Vegeta to watch on puzzled, wondering... What are you doing now? Can't you see yet how outmatched we are? But once Goku had reached the summit above, he would look down at both Vegito and Vegeta and reply under his breath, I know Vegeta, that's why I'm going to try and get a little help. <laughs> Alright, here goes nothing! And suddenly, in a truly unexpected turn of events, Goku would lift both of his arms into the air into the iconic position we all know is that of summoning the Spirit Bomb. <laughs> Meanwhile though, the God Killer Vegito, still with his eyes closed from the challenge he imposed on himself, using his hearing alone, would comment, Now what is this? If I'm not mistaken, I sense Kakarot has risen into the air. What could he be planning this time? Another Kamehameha? But Goku, looking down, now focusing as hard as he can, would then look to the prince and say, Sorry if this feels like deja vu to when we fought Boo Vegeta, but I'm gonna need your help here. Cover me while I get the energy needed. It shouldn't take too long. <laughs> But on the instant of hearing this, a flashback does indeed come to Vegeta, of a certain battle, as he angrily grunts back, The Spirit Bomb? Really, Kakarot? You fool, that's not going to work in here, when the only life forms are us six. And I doubt Black, Boo, or the other two are hardly in the mood to help. A spirit bomb, huh? And yet again, this conversation is heard by Vegito's heightened senses, as he smirks and continues... For once, Vegeta's loud mouth actually did some good. But he's right, what a foolish idea. To be expected of the clown known as Kakarot. In here... Nothing will even be generated, let alone from the gods and angels he so foolishly thinks he can interact with. But undeterred, Goku just continues smiling warmly as he looks down at the prince and replies, You might be right, Vegeta, but what else can we do? I say, if anything, it's worth a shot. And anyway... I know the energy of the gods and angels is here somewhere for us to use. I can feel it. Before he then looks up with a serious face and asks, Please, please lend me your energy. <laughs> but an annoyed Vegeta, who seems more begrudged by the situation 
rather than what Goku is attempting. Justin grits his teeth and says out, Fine! Have it your way, Kakarot! It's true. Not like we have any better ideas. I'll do what I can! Your fight is with me now, Vegito! Immediately then launching at Vegito, just as Goku had requested. <laughs> and of course, Vegito would completely be aware. Citing... I see. Distract me while you try your best to muster some energy. Huh? How tragically sad. <laughs> Only thing sad here is how much you underestimate us, Vegito! As suddenly, with speed, even in his base form, Vegeta suddenly appears right in front of a smiling Vegito. <laughs> before quickly slamming a foot right onto the God Killer that is of course easily just blocked with Vegito's own knee. <laughs> Sending Vegeta back as he yells, Damn you! Even without looking? As a smiling Vegito would giggle, <laughs> Don't feel too bad, my dear prince. I'm half you after all. To which, violently, Vegeta would just try once more, only to be blocked yet again. <sighs> Eventually leaving a completely exhausted Vegeta to yell out in frustration, Kakarot, hurry up, will you? This Vegito is just playing with me! To which the humoring God Killer would just say back, <laughs> Yes, that may be true, Prince. But that doesn't mean I won't enjoy letting you try harder and harder. Worry not, take your time. It's not like your silly plan has any chance at working. <laughs> and just like that, as Goku watches on, Vegeta would continue his fruitless assault, with Goku wondering, Take my time? But Vegeta, he's barely got anything left in him. <sighs> and so closing his eyes tightly, Goku would then scream internally, No! This has to work! Come on! Please! Anybody! Give me your energy! <sighs> and suddenly, as if blessed by a god himself, Goku suddenly feels a sudden rush of energy flow through his body and up above, as if his prayers were finally being answered. Ah! No way! As unbelievably in the blink of an eye, a humongous mass of energy appears right above Son Goku. But not just any energy, as for the first time, the power of the so-called spirit bomb no longer looks blue in colour, but instead now sports the divine purples of a destroyer's divine destruction energy, with hints of white angelic power imbued. Whoa! And as Goku looks up in awe, his trembling and excitement body just comments, This energy, it's none of ours. It's so vast. Virus? Whis? Are you in there? <sighs> but soon Vegito too would briefly sense the sudden mass of divine aura resonating with his own. While Vegeta, also noticing, would keep battling, hoping... Kakarot! You did it! <laughs> How could I expect any less? Let's just hope this freak in front won't notice before it's too late. But Vegito, now gaining a hint of annoyance, would just think to himself... Well, I'll be. Son Goku truly is something. Else. That really is. 
before instantly vanishing from the face of a shocked Vegeta, as if he could have done so at any moment, before reappearing right behind the still arm stretched out Goku before. Raising his own arms out, he says, Time's up! I changed my mind! This game is pointless! Huh? Wait! Vegito! Surprising a wide-eyed Goku, who is none the wiser until... <coughs> In a flash, and with thunderous impact, the God Killer would slam both of his fists down indiscriminately, right down to the skull of Goku. Sending him down to the ground for a painful crash onto the plain white floor of Vegito's mind. <sighs> Our hero wouldn't be completely out for the count, however, as just barely keeping himself together on one knee, Goku would then remain with one eye open, muttering, No! Vegito! Why? before then grabbing his temple with a groan yelling, Ow! That one hurt! This isn't fair at all, Vegito! I almost had it! The energy, it's in here, and you know it too! You were scared, weren't you? <laughs> but Vegito would of course scoff at the statement, descending to the ground softly before Goku, before continuing, Nonsense, clown! The Destroyers are not the only ones here with destruction or angelic power anymore. If anything, you were just siphoning small amounts of my energy from me while my guard was down. Quit with the pipe dreams! The only reason I knocked you down is to show you this is no textbook arc as you presumed. I am no Freezer. Lord Slug or Boo, and that means I will not just wait like an idiot for you to power up that useless move. Tch! <laughs> Who the hell do you take me for? <laughs> Leaving Son Goku near speechless before saying, Well, it's not like I'll get a chance to find out for sure now. Vegeta! We're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Maybe with the help of Tien Shinhan to start off. Yeah. Before quickly, Goku would raise both of his arms, crossed over in a strange but familiar stance, before shouting, Multiform Technique! And just like that, Goku would then split immediately into two. Both deadly silent until the second would say quietly, Okay, on my count, three, two, one, go! And instantly, the two clones of Goku would then proceed to rush in straight for the relaxed stance Vegito in the distance. Yeah! Yeah! And even with two copies of arguably the greatest martial artist the Earth had ever seen attacking Vegito from all angles, the God Killer, with complete control and ease, would continue to dodge each and every attack with his eyes still closed and his hands still on his hips. <coughs> and a stunned Vegeta watching on now realizing full well just how much of a joke this attempt at attacking Vegito really is, would then begin popping a vein on his forehead as his anger built, letting out, <sighs> What is going on here? What level of ultra instinct can he have to make us look like such chumps? Face or not, something should have landed by now! <laughs> But the smirking Vegito, in the midst of still dodging, would both correct and goad Vegeta, further saying, This is no ultra instinct that I'm using right now, dear prince. 
This is simply just a difference in speed and ability between us now. You both seem like you're moving in slow motion to me. I'll show you slow motion, Vegito! With Vegeta in a huff, then suddenly launching into the sky with speed, unbeknownst to Vegito, presumably. And as he finally reaches high enough into the sky, he would think, Right! This is high enough! If we're moving in slow motion, then I'll just have to make my next attack faster than he can even react! Before spreading his arms out in iconic style, with electric key suddenly surrounding every inch of his body, as he screams with intensity, staring directly down at Vegito and Goku. You'll regret everything you said, Half Clown! You will listen to us! Final Flash! Before in a wild yell, Vegeta would blast out the attack we all expected with fury in his eyes, aiming to catch Vegito at the speed of light itself while preoccupied with the two Goku. And as expected, the speed truly is unprecedented, immediately blasting off looking like a needle compared to where it began, reaching the trio in the distance near instant. Ah! Vegeta! And that speed is reflected by Goku's face as the two only suddenly notice at the very last second Vegeta's blast, just as its very bright light begins to blind them. And they think, should have told me earlier, you know! And with Vegito's eyes still closed, Vegito would remain standing still, while the two Gokus try their best to escape at the very last second. <laughs> Pathetic! But though it was assumed Vegito would be none the wiser, the smile on the God Killer's face would suggest otherwise. As as soon as Goku stops his attack on Vegito, the few Saiyan, almost in synchronization, would begin vanishing to escape too. That is, until... In the distance, an increasingly frustrated and annoyed Margin Buu would be seen. Closing his eyes, levitating trying his best to finally relax and rest in peace, as he always wanted until... Duh! I've had enough of you sayings and your noise! I will have my peace! Screaming out with a raucous fury as signature steam shoots out. Yeah! And with unbelievable speed expected of the Margin that was created from the very energy of Ultra Vegito, Margin Buu shoots out an elongated arm straight for the mid-vanishing Vegito. <laughs> and shockingly, Vegito would then quickly notice something was wrong. <laughs> what the? Opening his eyes to reveal that in that very instant, Boo had wrapped his arm completely around the God Killer, trapping him there before he could go anywhere else. Wait, Boo! What are you doing? And as he realizes finally exactly who the assailant is, he would scream out scoldingly in anger. But it would all be cut short, as now facing him at such a distance, no escape could be possible, was Vegeta's final flash. Ah! And with one final scream before impact, he would let out, No! Not like this! But the words would be too little too late in the end, as instantly, Vegeta's attack would make contact and leave a devastating explosion in its wake. Huh? The turn of events shocking Goku, who would think, 
Wait! Did he get him? Vegeta! Did you actually do it? <sighs> While the bemused Vegeta, surprised that even himself, would mutter, I... I don't know, Kakarot! You never can tell with this guy! As in the aftermath, only smoke bellowing around can be seen. <sighs> with Boo himself letting go, before confirming, I felt him in my very arms. Do not worry, your attack landed. It even got me. As within the smoke, a silhouette does begin to show itself. <laughs> and standing there, just as Boo had confirmed, is indeed Vegito. Now covered in cuts and bruises, as if definitely having been hit, and with a look of bubbling rage before... <laughs> you! With an angry look, the God Killer would quickly turn his head to lock on to Boo, grunting ferociously until... You cheater! Who the hell said you could get involved with my fun? You deformed marshmallow! Comedically, Vegito would then begin screaming with anger at the pink demon letting out all of his childish frustration at losing his so-called game, but to methods he never saw coming. <laughs> and the laughing Boo, smug with himself, would just stand with his arms folded, replying, Well, don't blame me. You never did say that nobody else here could intervene. After all, for better or worse, are we not all a part of you, Vegito? Not just those two Saiyans over there. <laughs> Very true, Boo! As an overjoyed Goku with a beaming smile as his clone disappears would add, Woohoo! We did it, Vegeta! I told you we could. Now we'll finally be able to have a say in what Vegito is doing again. <laughs> As a smirk finally then reappears on Vegeta's face too, and he says, <laughs> Indeed, Kakarot, I didn't doubt myself for a second. What say you, Vegito? You did say you were a Saiyan of your word, didn't you? <laughs> before a positively infuriated look would appear on Vegito's face as he grunts and begins disappearing once again, this time just letting out as he does so. A deal is a deal. And just like that, the scene would then shift back into the real world, with Vegito standing tall in the wind as black lightning surrounds his entire body. Silently though, inside his mind, he would return to the mindset of his one true mission. <laughs> Before with a cold look, letting out... And that deal is to finish killing all of the gods! Time to find you, final destroyer! Your time has come, Mule! As behind the God Killer, a vision of both God of Destruction Mule and his angel Campari would then be seen as if targets in a bingo book. But as Vegeta would think of the God, in a faraway universe, Mule would finally be seen once more. His head ducked down in the darkness as he would say ominously, He is finally coming. I can sense it in my blood. My Grim Reaper. Are you three ready? Campari. Yes. Awamo. 
Yes. And you. <laughs> As shockingly, the final member of Mule's entourage is unbelievably revealed to be Zeno's guard himself. One destroyer, two angels, and one of the strongest warriors in the multiverse, enough to guard the king of all, now awaits the famed god killer. But back with Vegito, not even a second more is wasted as the God Killer stares into the sky cold with his palm faced upwards as he thinks, Forget the damn staff. I've grown even greater with my control of these rings. Universe 3 or not, I can go anywhere I desire with just these. Even another location in the present timeline. And instantly, a time portal is then opened right over the head of Vegito. And with a sinister smirk expected of the God Killer, Vegito would then begin disappearing into its void, giggling out one final time as he does so. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come! And eventually, on a suitably strange new planet, the portal would reopen, and Vegito's foot would then softly land in tow. And in a drastically better mood now, Vegito with his arms folded would just nonchalantly look around for any trace of Mule, knowing the score by now that it will be harder done than said as he lets out, Alright, alright. You know I'm here, Destroyer. Your time has come. And Zeno knows I gave you plenty of it. Save me the hassle of finding you, and I may make your death quick. But as Vegito enjoys himself talking to thin air, from afar, the God Killer is kept in the sights of a very robotic looking scope. Zooming in quickly at the head of Vegito, he continues to turn from side to side, completely oblivious that he is now in target. And suddenly, from the direction of the scope, what looks like a speeding missile is fired at insane speeds, shooting off down the landscape within nanoseconds, having reached Vegito in its sight before. <laughs> Just as the strange object is in touching distance, Vegito finally reacts. Only for a humongous explosion like no other to then follow, altering the entire landscape of the planet instantly. <sighs> and once the damage is done, the culprit is seen, as a mechanized standing robot is seen in the distance with an enormous and powerful looking sniper of some variety. And once zoomed in on its lifeless face, the machine would report, Target eliminated. I got him, boss. Direct hit. The rest of you can now stand down and await orders. And just like that, suddenly from all corners of the smoke and debris of the explosion, five other mysterious figures appear. Good work, boss. As once revealed, five more completely armored and battle-clad robots are seen, each green in color, but all slightly different from one another. No! Don't stand down! But finally, from the confines of what seems like an isolated box, God of Destruction Mule then finally makes his appearance, looking panicked in the face as he continues. That's not nearly enough! Direct hit or not, you all keep firing until there isn't a trace of him left! Go! Go now! You heard him, boys. Keep firing! In command, all six would then do as Lord Mule commanded, 
blasting off non-stop a mixture of missiles and high-powered energy beams right back into the direction of where Vegito was. And as expected, an even greater explosion is seen. One which begins shaking and damaging the very fabric of the planet. The commander, meanwhile, back in the distance with his giant sniper, would continue delegating. Keep going, boys. I don't want to see anyone stop until we run out of ammo. What Lord Mule says, go! as he then, just the same as the rest of his men, continues his barrage in an attempt to disintegrate the God Killer. No! I think it's time you stop firing those pea shooters! Can you not see the smoke it's creating? Huh. Think of the effect on global warming for once! What? But in classic style, and probably to be expected by now, a familiar god-killing voice is then heard right behind the commander. Wait, who was that? Lord Mule? Was that you? Confusing the simple-minded robot as he waits for clarification until... <laughs> Suddenly, right through the middle of his skull, an energy blade slices right through. Yeah. Sorry, but it looks like your call got cut off. <laughs> Revealing Vegito with his energy sword in hand, chopping the commander in half through his body as mechanical oil and blood splatters everywhere. <laughs> really, Mule? This is the best you could do? As both sides of the robot then explode on the dark and sinister face of Vegito. And a grin builds upon his first cold kill of the day. <gasps> what? No! Come on, no! And one by one, as realization ripples through the rest of the ranks of their leader's brutal death, the five robots stand petrified in fear. <laughs> Don't worry, kids. You'll be joining your papa soon. As a devious stare then accompanies the god king. What? And suddenly, one by one, each of the mechs would then become confronted by a god of destruction. The first by Beerus, the second by Halise, the third by Belmod, fourth by Liquor, and the fifth finally by Rumshi. Each of their palms stretched out forward until... HAKAI! With the lifeless faces of their former destroyers, each would yell the chant of destruction straight at their robotic victim. Instantly erasing the five mechs from existence as their dust-like bodies now disappear into the atmosphere in front of Vegito's divine apparition. No! And from wherever Mule is hidden, watching on, he would explode in fury. His eyes barely able to conceive what they had just seen, as he continues... My... my Elite Six! I spent centuries building those! How dare you, God Killer! <laughs> and as this fury builds, suddenly, the very floor and surface of the planet Vegito is standing on would begin rumbling and crumbling, right before the eyes of the God King, as if the planet itself was mourning the loss of the six robotic victims. <laughs> as suddenly, bursting forth from the ground itself, right behind Vegito, Mule 
encased in a totally new and powerful robotic shell, explodes with extreme speed, taking even Vegito by surprise, as he can only stare forward, wide-eyed, in the unexpected machine appears. What on earth? Destroyer! Is that you? Eventually quickly turning his head to meet eyes first with the mechanical abomination in front, only for... You die here, God Killer! <gasps> the powerful looking robot to then quickly launch what appears to be an energy katana straight at Vegito. <laughs> But just in the nick of time, with his own energy sword already extended, Vegito is able to clash his against the robots, defending himself and narrowly avoiding being stabbed straight through. <laughs> Close one! Leaving Vegito just smirking away as he tries his best to peer into the internals of the machine, adding... <laughs> What a strange new robot. Mule, that is you inside, isn't it? <laughs> you know me too well, Vegito! And surprisingly, even though his attack was blocked, a crazed smile is seen on Mule. As he replies, Yes, well thanks to you, I had to leave my daily robot shell behind the last time we met. But for you, I've brought out my greatest trump card. I call this Gundam. The strongest fighting machine in Universe 3. And the most advanced technology ever seen in the multiverse. Before without warning and with extreme speed and force, Mule would launch the Gundam's leg straight into the torso of Vegito. Actually causing the God Killer enough pain to spit out blood as he briefly thinks... That speed from a destroyer! But it wouldn't be enough to push Vegito too far, as scraping across the ground by his feet he would soon reach a halt, grabbing his stomach where he was hit before. <laughs> Fantastic Mule! Somehow, through the pain, the sadomasochistic side of Vegito resurfaces again, as if almost happy for the destroyer as he says, You weren't kidding! I actually felt that. Your technology must be more advanced than even Dr. Jerome. To think the last of you weak gods would have something like this up your sleeve. Ha 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 ha! You feel my strength, do you? Well, too late now, God Killer! And Mule, completely enthused with Vegito's words, would emulate, yelling back, I'm sure you're realizing now. I was always the secret dark horse among the gods! They all doubted me, judged me for my size, but the truth is, where their power was limited by their own bodies, my power was only limited by just how strong I wanted to make my next robot! My power is infinite! And I will always remain the strongest god by far. <laughs> but this long and boastful monologue is unfortunately then silenced, as Mule's pupils almost disappear in shock and fear as something unexpected happens. <laughs> Slowly, he turns his head down within the machine he was safely confided in before. What? Unbelievably, within his own solid machine, a familiar arm that can only belong to one feud Saiyan appears grabbing his arm. <laughs> and once we peer outside, Vegito the God Killer is of course inexplicably seen with a clone behind the Gundam. 
taking a leaf out of Goku's book from earlier with his arm firmly penetrated through its backside as he then calmly asks Ah, so you were in there, mule. I thought I could smell fear in here. So where were we? Something about that toaster making you the strongest god? Huh? Come out and tell me more. <laughs> and with now an angered roar, Vegeta would begin tensing all his muscles while concentrating all of it on his arm, grabbing Mule before... <laughs> with one vicious swoop, Vegito would then rip out the destroyer like a baby from its pram, as the Gundam is left completely wrecked and crumpled in the process. Turning to the fearful god with a smile and letting out. Much better, right? You were due some fresh air. Now, are you ready to die, my friend? <laughs> Stunning the petrified destroyer, who can only just mutter in his final moments. No! I need. I need your help now! <laughs> And on hearing this strange final sentence from Mule, Vegito suddenly stops in his tracks, sensing something strange in the distance. Something powerful. <laughs> and without warning, just in front of Vegito, a group of figures smash straight onto the ground, pushing Vegito back briefly from the impact alone and forcing him to let go of Mule. <laughs> Quickly to build up space and to get a better look, Vegito would then manually jump back, angrily first saying as the group are covered in smoke, hmm? What's this now? More toasters and refrigerators from Universe 3? Give me a break! But as the smoke fades, instead, three figures begin to be seen staring straight back at the now silent Vegito. And shockingly, the three are revealed to be none other than the first of Zeno's guards, with both Angel Campari and Iwamo on either side, protecting Mule behind as if he were the Omni King himself. <laughs> you, you! And Vegito, now for the first time in a while, completely stunned, would only be able to think back to the flashback of when he first met the guard, and how in one punch, he was near taken out for the count in his ultra form. <laughs> perfect! This is perfect! Finally, a chance to see just how much I've improved! Try that attack on me now, God! As with a horrific roar and power up to his ultra form once more, surrounded in dancing black lightning, Vegito would ready himself for his toughest battle yet, and for the first time with divinity directly linked to Zeno himself. But that was it for today's video guys, and if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag guard in the comments down below, and let me know how this rematch between Vegito and the legendary guard will go. Or you can just find out what happens right now on my Patreon, where you can see the full next video, fully voice acted, soundtracks and edited for you to enjoy with over 4,400 plus other fans, as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mangas too. It's the deal of the century.